So we're finally getting Cyberpunk 2077 on next gen consoles and it launches today. Yes, today we actually have some uh, comparisons of PS5, Xbox Series X, seeing what the difference is between the two. So we're gonna be checking all that out here in this video and as well as talking about a couple smaller gaming news things as well here in this video. So if you guys are new around here, be sure to subscribe for more gaming content. If you guys do enjoy this one, uh, leave this one a like as well so more people can see it helps the channel out greatly. If you guys don't like it though, it's completely fine as well. Let's jump into a couple smaller topics really really quick just to get them out of the way and then we'll move into the cyberpunk 2077 news so first off we'll throw it up on screen elden ring pc requirements uh they tweeted this out earlier so you guys can see the exact requirements the minimum specifications and the recommended specifications operating system and all that good stuff so minimum of course could be windows 10 recommended is windows 11 or 10 processor you can see uh exactly what the uh minimum requirements are so if you have an intel it's an i5 8400 or an amd ryzen at 3 3300 x but the uh, recommended would be an i7 8700k or a ryzen 5 th uh, 3600x uh, ram minimum is 12 recommended is 16 graphics again you can see gtx 1060 meeting the bare minimum it's time to upgrade for me i'm still running uh 1060 uh but the 6 gig version uh and then of course you got the gtx 1070s the recommended or the radian uh, rx vega or vega i'm not sure actually how to pronounce it i'm sorry uh 56 8 gig so Again, this is um, all the uh, required, or I guess, uh, minimum and recommended specifications for Elden Ring on PC. Storage is going to be 60 gigs. I don't know how it's how big it's going to be exactly on consoles, but that is for PC. Not going to waste any time. We're just going to go straight into the next one, and that is Horizon Lego Set. You can see it up on screen right now. Just got announced. It's really cool, man. If you guys are into Lego still, I'm into Lego. Okay, like I don't even care. I'll be. I'm going to be like 70 years old, and I'm still going to be into Lego. Absolutely love it. But uh, the Horizon Forbidden West Lego Set official announced it releases on may 22nd for 80 bucks man lego's expensive i don't remember if it was that expensive when i was a kid or not but it's really really expensive nowadays and this is not just for horizon this is just for lego in general uh 1222 pieces including an alloy figure and uh other machines and whatnot as well it looks again it looks really really cool i think it looks fantastic let me know if this is something you guys would plan to pick up or not or if it's not really your thing or if it's too expensive or whatever your thoughts are on that and uh, whatnot. So now we're uh, we're finally ready to move on into Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so first off, let's take a look. I'll throw it up on screen at the description of the gameplay that Cyberpunk 2077 posted. The one I'm going to show you guys is for the PS5 description because they posted a different gameplay for PS5 and Xbox Series X. They're the exact same thing except the PS5 one talks about the DualSense. So they say take a look at the patch 1.5 next gen update gameplay captured on PS5. The other one would be Xbox Series X. With the update, uh, basically takes advantage of the additional power of the newest generation of console hardware, allowing for ray tracing features and 4K with dynamic scaling, faster loading times, and a variety of other visuals uh, and technical improvements. Um, so that's where the Xbox Series X description would end. But then with the PS5 one, it goes on to say uh, that they utilize the DualSense controllers, adaptive triggers, and haptic feedback functionalities, which of course that is, you know, uh, something that's exclusive to PlayStation. We don't have that in the Xbox uh, controllers, unfortunately. Um, and so at this point, I'll throw up some comparisons. We're gonna go bounce back and forth and it'll be labeled up on screen so you guys can see they posted 32 minutes of gameplay so if you want to see the entirety of it you feel free to watch it but i just want to kind of bounce around a couple different scenes just some random select scenes and just kind of see you know back and forth maybe a few seconds on ps5 and then a few seconds of the exact same scene on xbox series x because again it's pretty much the exact same gameplay just captured on two different consoles and you can kind of see the difference between the two now the first thing i'll say is yeah the game definitely does look better uh you know better textures better light and all that good stuff uh is it drastically better i don't know i don't really recall it's i haven't played the game since launch i'll be honest with you guys but it definitely does look better i mean you can see the visuals and stuff uh the lighting definitely is way better um you know it's 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 an improvement for sure the big question is are the bugs actually you know fixed are they are they actually fixed the way they should be that said they did announce during the stream that you know they've, they're basically reworking the economy they're reworking the skill trees and all that as well so there there is other improvements um again it just doesn't seem to be like there's any actual dlc quests per se but there's a lot that they have done with this you know whole update there's there's a lot that's uh, going to be uh you know kind of tweaked and and fixed finally it's been a long time and it's uh, it sucks 
that it's it's come so late uh, because there's probably a lot of people that at this point they've just kind of moved on from Cyberpunk 2077. They just don't even care anymore. So instead of me just telling you guys, let me actually throw something up on screen that just got released as I was recording this. This is a graph of patch 1.5 quick platform overview. So you can see there's new weapons coming to all consoles, additional apartments for V, hairdressing, mirror, rebalance for of uh, gameplay, economy and loot systems, ray traced local shadows is going to be of course exclusive to PS5 and Xbox Series X previously added to PC Stadia. Um, we got various improvements uh, for visual quality and that uh, is again previously added on PC and Stadia. It's going to be added to all the next gen consoles including Xbox Series S. Uh, spatial headphone audio previously added to the Xbox consoles uh, but uh, it's only coming to PS5 not PS4. Improved crowd reactions that's going to be coming to all consoles except you know previous uh, gen. This is also going to be new to PC and Stadia and then dual sense controller features of course only going to be on PlayStation itself. And then to go on, there's a huge, huge kind of a blog post as well. And you can see some of the next gen exclusives as well as the difference between performance mode and ray tracing mode uh, and all that good stuff. So basically performance mode ensures smooth gameplay at 60 FPS with dynamic 4K scaling while ray tracing mode provides photorealistic shadow and ref, uh, reflection rendering as well as gameplay at 30 FPS with dynamic 4K, 4K scaling. So if you want that 60 FPS, you're going to have to turn off ray trace and go for the performance mode and then it says the xbox series s version has no graphics mode selection by default it's presented at 30 fps and 1440p so if you're on xbox series s you don't even get to play in performance mode you don't even have that option you're stuck at, at 30 fps which kind of sucks um, added performance improvements which significantly decrease the number of fps drops and improved uh, rendering quality balanced hdr various visual quality improvements added activity cards for ps5 added spanish voiceover support in the americas uh, there's all this different stuff implemented support for spatial audio and ps5 for 3d audio enabled headphones and built-in tv speakers via ps5's tempest 3d audio tech solution as well and it goes on and on with that stuff uh, and all that and then of course like i already mentioned haptic feedback and all that stuff the controller's built-in speakers also used for hollow calls text messages and everything that happens in, in v's head beyond that there is some additional content there's a part so apartments can be rented with a one-time fee. There's a bunch of stuff going on with that. Available apartments. There's a Northside Watson, Japantown, Westbrook, the Glen Haywood, uh, Corpo Plaza, City Center. They range from $5,000 to $55,000 in price. Additionally, you can now customize V's starting apartment in Mega Building H10. Uh, there's some interactions in the ap apartments uh, that provide a temporary buff and all that stuff. Again, you can read through the entire thing. I'm not going to go through every little bit, uh, but there's a period customization there's what's new at Wilson's and all that there's two new weapons four new weapon scopes uh, new weapon attachments such as muzzle brakes um, different stuff like that new poses and photo mode uh, combat AI so this is probably where you guys are going to be most interested in living in the city there's multiple fixes and improvements to NPC melee and ranged combat AI and reactions including taking cover positioning reloading you know etc etc uh, multiple improvements to dis uh, dismemberment triggers there enemies are now much better at blocking and evading uh, further uh, d uh, diversification of melee and ranged combat behaviors for different factions followers now contribute more in combat but can be defeated and temporarily disabled if they receive enough punishment numerous fixes and balance changes to net runner combat there's crowd improvements aggressive crowd behavior time skips that affect the state of npcs improved crowd reactions drive model there's so there's an introduction to their all new burnout uh mo mode which is basically hold gas press brake to engage steer to rotate there's a whole stuff there New braking system uh, pr pr produces consistent performance, front to rear across all speeds, ABS simulation added, uh, engine simulation improved, gearbox simulation improved, uh, all this different stuff, motorcycles improved, tune improvements to various cars, added adjustments to first person perspective to all vehicles, uh, vehicle traffic, there's visual improvement to traffic movement, panic reaction to danger, reactions to fender benders, all that stuff, gameplay has uh, seen a bunch of different balancing uh, stuff, various changes 
changes related to the economy, like we mentioned, rebalanced and improved functionality of clothing mods. Uh, the easy game difficulty is now moderately more challenging. Introduced two new stats, replacing evasion uh, components that used to increase in, in, uh, evasion now affect mitigation. Rebalanced damage over time effects, reduced change to dis uh, disrupt trajectory, added a quieter way to escape the NCPD. Bunch of different stuff. There's there's cyberware uh, section, right, uh, that they've uh, kind of tweaked a bunch of stuff there as well. I'll throw it up on screen as we're kind of going through this, but you can, uh, you can kind of pause and read through the entirety uh there's you know basically fixed an issue where it was impossible to equip some cyberware mods uh, simultaneously for example uh added the optical cam mobility for some npcs you know a bunch of different stuff there then there's a whole section with combat right numerous optimizations to combat ai numerous fixes and improvements were made to reduce uh interruptions and smoothen npc anim animations and combat all that stuff uh enemies will now correctly reposition to more tactically advantage uh, uh advantageous positions increased followers is uh, shooting accuracy, reduced explosion damage dealt to the player. You know, there's, again, a huge list of stuff uh, that they fixed. I, you can see that this is a significant, significant patch. And they go on with, you know, quick hacking and items and devices and NPCs. Um, the, it's it's a very, very long one. So I don't want to take up too, too much time because it's it's there's a lot to this. Uh, but they've basically improved weapons and player mechanics and perks and, and vehicles and, and UI and quests and literally everything the open world graphics audio animation cinematic design environment and levels stability and performance there's a lot in this patch so i'll link the whole thing in the description below if you guys want to read through the entirety of it um but again i don't want to take too much time kind of going through it more than that because if so this would turn into like a 30 minute video very quickly i just kind of wanted to highlight a few of a few of the different things there so let me know what you guys think about it all in the comment section below um I just wanted to kind of go through a couple gaming pieces of news let you guys know about the update show you guys a little bit of a quick comparison again you can watch the full entirety of the uh gameplay either on ps5 and or on xbox series x on the cyberpunk 2077 youtube channel but uh seems like they've definitely improved this one i mean like i said there's a lot of changes hopefully it's uh it's it's not too late um i know there's still a lot of people loving the game but there's also a lot of people that are just kind of like ah whatever i'm done with it you know it's, it's all good so let me know where you stand are you excited for this update do you not even care about cyberpunk anymore what's your position let me know in the comment section below and if you guys enjoyed this one leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys soon in another one until then my friends game on thanks for watching we almost forgot the comment of the day so let's check it out right now this one's from the playstation censorship video and this one's coming from stefan vermet who says pretty excited about the mario kart dlc actually i love spending time with my kids and eating their dust this one was such a heartfelt genuine comment i had to throw it up even though the nintendo content usually goes on the nintendo channel so if you guys want to check that out check it out in the description below but anyways with that out of the way that is going to conclude this video for real this time so cue the outro i'll see you guys in the next one